Hey you guys, this is Michelle Goldstein and you are at Heart Alchemy Yoga on YouTube. First of all, please subscribe to Heart Alchemy Yoga and please comment on the videos, let us know what you get out of them. Like and share the videos to your social circles, it helps boost our algorithm and our exposure which we're super grateful for. And you can also find us if you want to sign up for our email list at heartalchemyyoga.com. So today I've got my dear friend Lisa Gainsley here to talk about the lymphatic system. So I met Lisa originally many years ago. She used to take my class when I taught at Santa Monica Power Yoga. And um, we just knew each other over the years and we always connected and would have great chats before and after class. And fast forward until I guess this last year, mm -hmm. right? I. Um, I'd been having some health issues. I'd been getting this chronic eczema, and um, I'd had an acupuncturist alert me to the fact that all the eczema was over my lymph glands. And so I just had that in the back of my mind as I was making loads of adjustments regarding my diet, my lifestyle, doing more restorative yoga and such. And I happened to notice, because I follow Lisa on Instagram, that her name on Instagram was The Lymphatic Message. So you can follow her there, by the way, The Lymphatic Message. And it, it, it finally clicked in my mind, like, wow, I should reach out to Lisa because I need help with my lymph, obviously. And so I reached out to her and I started going to Lisa for lymphatic massage, which um, has been profound in helping heal this chronic eczema that was crazy uncomfortable, super unsightly, um, and like really was keeping me up all night. It was so itchy. So Lisa does this extraordinary work and she knows so much about the lymphatic system and I have found so many benefits from this work and know of other people who have received the same because the lymphatic system is really the system that manages our immunity. So I'm going to have Lisa take over a little bit from here and tell us um, why is the lymphatic system important and how does it help immunity? Okay, well, first of all, um, thanks for having me. It's yeah. such a pleasure to be with you. Yeah, so cool. I love, I love your yoga channel, so thanks. I feel so honored to be a guest, so thanks uh, for having me. Um, so I created the lymphatic message because I wanted to get the message out to people what the lymphatic system is, why it's important, and the role it plays in your immune system. Um, your immune system is and your lymphatic system are integral. Your uh, immune system, your blood system, runs like rivers all through your body. So does your lymphatic system. So your lymphatic system and your immune system are integral with each other. Whatever waste product you're not going to the bathroom out or sweating out gets moved to the interstitial fluid underneath the surface of your skin. It's made up of your waste products and toxins and pathogens of your body. So this waste product, the vac bacteria and viruses, hangs out underneath the surface of your skin and your lymph vessels open and close and they move the lymphatic fluid which is which contains the waste and the pathogens to areas where you have lymph nodes. The majority of your lymph nodes are located in your neck, just above your collarbone, your armpits, the axillary nodes, your abdomen and your spleen, the top of your thigh, your inguinal nodes. In those lymph nodes are white blood cells, macrophages, and the lymphocytes that make up your immune system. Mm -hmm. So the lymph nodes produce these immune cells. When the lymphatic fluid that's made up of your pathogens and waste and toxins get moved into the lymph nodes. The lymph, no the lymph nodes filter out those toxins and then the fluid returns back into your bloodstream. So it's this great recycling system of your body. Your bloodstream and your lymphatic system, they run like rivers all through your body. The lymph, the lymph does not have a central pump to move it, right? So the blood gets moved by the heart. The heart pumps the blood. The lymphatic system doesn't have a pump. It depends on your muscle motility and movement. That's why exercise is good. But these one-way valves that absorb and transport your fluid to working lymph nodes, that can, it's a slow moving process. I'll often describe it like a wave, the way seaweed will undulate in the ocean. It's a slow moving system. We can increase 
this cleansing and nourishing of your cells and your tissues through manual lymphatic drainage. Mm -hmm. Which is what's been so revolutionary for my life. It's really made a huge difference. Because your lymphatic fluid gets put back into your bloodstream once it's been cleaned by the lymph nodes. Mm -hmm. So there's certain pathways your lymph takes through your body, right? And as we talk about the self-massage, you'll see that, you'll see the image of the pathways. But essentially, if I can spend just a moment and explain to you, everything from the right of your body drains to the right, everything from the left drains to the left. All of the lymphatic fluid from the face comes down to your neck. Most of the fluid from your arms comes into your axillary nodes, from your waist, up your torso, your chest, front and back comes into the axillary nodes. And then from your waist down, it'll go to your inguinal nodes. From your feet, all of the fluid will come up your legs to the inguinal nodes. So all of the fluid from your legs will come through the inguinal nodes, into the pelvic nodes, cisterna chile, and then it goes up the thoracic duct, and it joins at the subclavian vein where it goes back into the bloodstream. So it's this circuitry process, right? This circulation of your lymph cleansing and nourishing your cells to rid your body of pathogens and impurities. Mm. Awesome. Well, the amazing thing that we've got going today is that, first of all, we've got two other videos. One of them will be self-massage techniques that Lisa's going to teach us to help kind of get your lymph moving on your, on your own. And also, we'll do, we have a video for yo um, yoga for the lymph. So check those out for sure. And Lisa is available for private Skype sessions. If you're in Los Angeles, she, you can go to see her for a treatment. And I highly recommend it. I can't even tell you enough. I could cry Aww, the way you helped so me so much. And she's also an amazing yoga teacher. I mean, she trained in like 1999. 1999. 1999. Think, yeah. So she's been teaching yoga for 20 years almost over. Yeah. And the last thing that I want to say is um, if somebody has had cancer or cancer treatment, um, you definitely want to make sure you seek a certified lymphedema therapist as you will be working differently than an in somebody with an intact lymphatic system. Manual lymphatic drainage is great for people who've had cancer and it's great for people with autoimmune disease people who have athletic injury, pregnancy, acne, digestive issues, but know what you're dealing with when you're working with your lymphatic system and your practitioner in your area. Yes, love it. And you can check out Lisa's website. It's in the description below, so you can click on it, and there's a lot more information there. Thank you so Thanks, honey. much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, you guys. We'll see you soon.